Now, for demo, let's create a slideshow content type with an image view to upload image. Let's go to Structure, Content Types, Add Content Type. Give you a name called Slideshow. Scroll down, Publishing, uncheck this. Display settings, we don't need this as well. Menu settings, we are uncheck main menu. Let's save and add fields. Now we'll keep this body for caption, all right? And we'll create an image field to upload the slide. We'll use the existing field called image. Let's save it. Scroll down. File directory. I will put slide show. So all the slides will be kept in this folder nicely. For maximum image resolution, I will limit by 900 times 900. Scroll down. Number of values. Yes, only one. Let's save the settings. Let's rearrange the position. Save. Now we can upload our first slide. Let's go to content. Add content. Slide show. I give our first slide the name. Image. Upload. We can place the caption here. Scroll down and save the slide. Now I'll pause the video and create several slides to save time. Please pause the video and do so. Okay, we have created several slides here. Our slides are ready. Time to create a view. Let's go to structure, views, add a new view. Let's give it a name called slideshow. Show content of slideshow content type. We do not need to create a page, rather we create a block, right? Display format. So once you enable the flag slider module, you should be seeing a new format here called flag slider. Let's choose it off fields. Now I empty this one to display all the items. Let's continue and add it. Scroll down. Let's add some fields here for the slideshow. The first one is the image field we created earlier. So it's under slideshow content type, right? Another one is for the caption, which is our body field, right? Check this, apply. We don't need the label, apply. For image, we don't need the label as well. Image style, we choose flag slider full. This already created by the module itself. Now I think that's all. Apply. Let's scroll down and take a look. Right. That's great. There are some adjustments as well. I think we do not need the title. Right. Let's sort it out a bit. I'll put the image on the top here. And next to flag slider format, there's one setting. We click on it. For caption view, we'll choose body. Right, apply. And for this body, we're going to hide it instead. Hidden. So it'll render by the flag slider itself as a caption. We scroll down. Yes. Let's inspect element. Alright, so we have flux caption here, it rendered from here. I think we can remove all these additional uh, wrapper or glasses. Scroll up, click on these settings, we we'll remove all this, apply. That will reduce the wrappers or glasses. We do not need all those. So very straightforward, we have LI and we have image. And caption is very clear. Great. I think that's all.
Let's save it. Let's go to the block now. Structure, blocks. Scroll down. Let's for view slideshow. We'll configure. Now block title, we do not need to show. Here, we assign to content, right? And we only show on the front page. Save block. Let's go to the front and take a look. Okay. That's great. I think we rearrange the regions, blocks. Scroll down. We move the slideshow to the top. Save the blocks. View again. Alright, that's great. Now you can style the caption a bit here. Maybe you move the caption inside the image, it will be nice. Let's inspect element. Look for this flex caption. Add a style here. Let's make the position to absolute. And bottom. 0, left, 0, right, 0, that will make it 100% white. And we give you a background, maybe, of uh, black, 0, what about the color or the phone, give it a black, a uh, white of course, give it a bit of padding, that's great. I think for background, if you are using Chrome, you can actually click on this color to get an alpha transparent, right? That's great. Okay, now it looks much nicer, right? If you are happy with this one, we can actually copy the whole thing and uh, open our text editor. Sites, all, themes, bootstrap sub theme, CSS. And open our style.css. I think we can remove this one. Flag slider, right? And save it here. Back to our Drupal site. Refresh and see. That's great. Let's resize the browser and see. Good. Great. Now you notice that on the smaller screen, this caption is actually blocking the image. So I think on the smaller screen, we will show this caption down below the image. Um, maybe like this. Inspect element. Look for this one. This time, maybe you put it back to static. Okay, it'll be background maybe back to solid color. That'd be nice. So let's try a media query for this. Open our text editor. I'll paste the media query here. Now it says that the maximum width is 480 pixel. Anything below than 480 is going to run this query. So we'll copy the whole thing here paste it here and there's only two things we need to change let's keep position and background for this one we change it to static right for background we change it to solid black All right so let's make an intent maybe we need to comment here as well it's always good to write the command Right, save it, back to our Drupal site, refresh the page, okay, let's resize again, good, that's great. Now on the smaller screen here, the caption is actually shown below the image, right? Okay, 
we have completed a plant page slideshow here. Let's proceed to the next.